You can lose an unlimited amount of money by shorting a stock and much more than what you paid to short the actual stock. Shorting a stock is the opposite of buying it. Buying it means you go long. Shorting it means you bet against it. So instead of shorting a stock, which can result in unlimited losses, I humbly recommend buying puts instead. And I'll explain this in a second. Because the most you can lose is the amount you invested in a put. So here's how it works. Let's go together to finance.yahoo.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at Apple, ticker AAPL's options. And I'll explain exactly how this works. Here we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type here Apple. And a lot of people don't realize that you can get options on Yahoo Finance as well. So if we type up Apple here and we scroll down here to options right above my head, we can actually uh, buy calls, meaning you bet a little bit of money that Apple's going to go up a lot. And if it goes down, you lose just this amount. Or we can buy puts, which means you invest this much money. If Apple goes down, you make a bunch. If it goes up, all you lose is this amount. And the way that options work is they're actually uh, set at different dates. So let's look at the September 17th uh, Apple, um, Apple puts. So let's scroll here to September 17th. And then we'll scroll down. So the top is calls. Blue means they're in the money. Uh, white means they're out of the money. Okay, so, and I'll explain this with a spreadsheet in a second. So I'll scroll down here to puts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Apple uh, 100 strike put. And I'll explain what that means. Okay. Don't get intimidated by these long tickers here. All this means is this is the ticker. This here is 2021. This is September this is the 17th, this is a put, and this is the strike price, which I'll explain in a second. So we're gonna go down to the strike price of 100, and you'll have this incredible aha moment in a second, and it'll all make sense. Okay, so we can buy uh, what's called the Apple 100 September 17th puts, okay? 100 is strike price. And what that means is if the price of Apple, and I'll show you in a chart in a second, if the price of Apple goes below a uh, hundred bucks uh, by this September, then you make money. So how much does it cost you to buy the rights to uh, get access to Apple, hopefully going below 100? Well, it costs you 41 cents, okay? And the way that options work is you don't just pay 41 cents or actually in increments of a hundred. So this is actually $41, okay? Now, let me explain how much money um, you can actually make on an Apple $100 put using a spreadsheet I made for my students, which is part of my Udemy course coming out soon called the Complete Options course. And a much more detailed version of what I'm about to show you uh, is going to be available for my MBA degree program students uh, as well. All right, so let's go over here and let's enter the data. Okay, so in this spreadsheet, um, I show you how to um, execute a call option and what it means, as well as a put option and value puts and calls using binomial pricing and black Schultz. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain that in my course in more detail. So let's go here and let's select Apple. And automatically I have all this information populated for you as well in case you wanna do investment research on sec.gov. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna download data for Apple between this date and this date here, okay? So I'll click this here. And this is going to call an API, so to speak. And there's no code in this. There's no macros. Okay. So what happened in the bottom left-hand corner is we just downloaded Apple's historical data for the past year. So I'm going to take all of this data. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to, where was I? Hold on, my spreadsheet right here. Here we go. Good. I'm going to paste this in. This will make sense in a second. Okay. Great. So we have all the data in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enter the strike price, which is 100, and the cost, which is 41 cents, okay, for that put. And this will create a chart for us that I'll explain right now. Okay, so right here you can see that if the price of Apple between now and September 17th of this year uh, goes below $100, this orange line here, then you make money. If it's on the orange line by September 17th or above, then you lose money, just the 41 cents times 100, 41 bucks. 
So here's the payoff that's automatically created for you right here. Okay, so let me scroll out a little bit here, get some more real estate. Okay, so here's how it works. So the most you can lose is 41 cents, which is just below this access here, okay? And the most you can make is $100 minus the 41 cents you paid uh, for that. And these are in increments of 100. Okay, so that's how a put works. A call is the opposite, uh, which again, I explain in more details uh, in my course and in my MBA degree program. Now, before you transact in options, I recommend creating a free paper-based pretend portfolio. And there's a lot of great software products and online resources to do this. My favorite though, is a product that's made by TD Ameritrade called Think or Swim. And this is just simulated trading. Okay, you can log in for simulated trading or real trading. Just do simulate that first to practice. And if you type in the ticker here, you get the exact same information we just talked about, puts uh, and calls. Now, if you can't get access to Think or Swim uh, in your country, if you can't download it, just do a search on Think or Swim, then what you can do, if it's legal, of course, is you can get a virtual private network uh, at, um, on your computer. So you can access this from anywhere in the world. And a lot of people do this when it comes to cryptocurrency uh, mining uh, in, in certain countries like, like China, for example. Yeah. All right, so that, that explains options. Uh, if you have any questions about this, as always, uh, please let me know. Uh, the bottom line is that buying puts is safer than shorting a stock, as the most you can lose is the amount you paid for the put. In the example with Apple, it's 41 cents times 100.